Hi there, this is Al from TheGamingGeek.net and today we're going to take a look at Devil May Cry, uh, the first one, the MTSC U version of the PlayStation 2 release for playing it on the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro and I never, well someone requested uh, this game, uh, that person said that they had like this uh, I for was it a black square at the upper right hand corner of the screen and I'm not sure why that is because you know well you can see I don't have that uh, here and even if I turn on a uh, widescreen at least uh, it wasn't there but I don't like widescreen so I'm not gonna turn it on um, yeah this Devil May Cry is something that uh, at first I didn't think I would want to play uh, for the channel on the record pocket for pro because uh, this game is easy to, um, it's not, how do I say it, it plays even on the Retroid Pocket 2S and on the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus, right? So, uh, this is one of those games that you just uh, put in, you know, copy it in your SD card and, you know, no need for any settings changes, right? It's, it'll just run well, right, on the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro, but... Yeah, well, someone requested it, and um, I'm not I'm not exactly sure that uh, this game is really going to run well. So um, right now we're playing it using my defaults, but if we do need to make changes to the settings, I'll mention it in the video description. Uh, I'll tell you in the video description to to skip to the end because there there's a. I'm going to show the final settings at the end if we need to change it, right? If you don't see any notes in the video description, then you know that what I'm going to show you now is the, the settings that work, right, for the entirety of the video. Uh, before I go, go into, um, it's a little bit bright, but uh, just trust me, this is high performance and smart fan, okay? Now, this game doesn't need to be in high performance i just like leaving my record pocket for pro in high performance um yeah because i got i test a lot of games and sometimes i forget to turn it back to high performance and so i don't get um i'm like i'm having trouble getting a game to run only for me to find out that it wasn't on high performance i'm just sticking there and i am using ether sx2 uh, right now, like I said, uh, we are on my defaults. Uh, my defaults are for system. I'm not even going to uh, mention anything because this is really just when you uh, set up Ether SX2 for the first time, you choose optimal settings and then don't change anything, right? Under system, no changes. For graphics uh, from optimal, this is the only thing that I changed. OpenGL for GPU render and 2x native for upscale multiplier. And then audio... A Gaussian for interpolation time stretch for synchronization, right? And then nothing else, right? So this is just really optimal settings. Again, if I, I ended up, you know, uh, needing to change settings, uh, I'll mention it in the video description and, you know, skip to the end. Uh, also, I'm using Ether SX2 version 1.4.3060, right? In case a person who's having problems. Uh, you might have a different Ether SX2 version, okay? So that said, uh, we will begin. Uh, let me just check. It's been a long time since I played this game. Um, yeah, not changing anything in the settings. And I, I don't think I'm going to spend an hour on this. Or more than an hour because, like I said, uh, it plays well on the 3 Plus, the, the PAL version. The PAL version played decent on the Retroid Pocket 2S if I, if my memory serves me correctly, right? So Capcom's really good at optimizing their games, so that's why these things run well. Alright, now I'm not going to skip the cutscenes because the cutscenes are very important uh, for a game like Devil May Cry, right? I might actually end up uh, hitting an hour, okay, but definitely not 
you know, an hour and a half. I guess when I get entertained, it's hard to stop. I've never played uh, Devil May Cry outside of testing the first one on these devices. What I have played are the Bayonetta games. I played Bayonetta 1, Bayonetta 2. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I wonder if a, a crossover between Bayonetta and Devil May Cry can be in the works. I mean, if it can happen. Not saying it's in the works. What the hell am I saying? I mean, uh, Bayonetta doesn't have a sword, or doesn't use a sword by default, but she can use a sword, and really just the mechanics of it, of it all, it's just it's so very similar. Ooh. There you go. I, I know that Bayonetta is like a, a spiritual successor or something like that. Uh, and Bayonetta is probably based off of Dante, right? But I played Bayonetta first. So my association is in reverse. Dante feels like Bayonetta to me. Right? I hope... I'm not offending anyone when I say that. I came here to seek your help. To put an end to the underworld. What? I don't necessarily understand what, what happened there. I'm going to lower the volume down. Uh, when I'm testing games, I try not to get immersed into, you know, the lore and everything because I don't want to add uh, more titles to my backlog and I don't want to get, you know, too invested. You see those uh, lines here at the side and sometimes at the top there. Those happen, oh wow, so it's stuck. That happens when you upscale, right? Some games um, have that issue. You can ignore it, or you can just crop it like one or two pixels. Uh, I don't want to crop it because we're on defaults, right? Let's just ignore it. Uh, or I don't think that appears. You know what, I'm curious. I'm going to check how a widescreen looks. The thing about widescreen is that um, not all games uh, react to widescreen in the same way. Uh, some are actually good. Some end up getting stretched. Alright, so this isn't stretched. Right? It's actually true, true widescreen, so that's good. Menus are stretched, though. You can see the... You can see that it's really stretched. It's not... Um, like if I change back into non-white screen where is that? it's somewhere here white screen I can't find it 
It's somewhere here. Maybe I'm scrolling too fast. There you go. I'm scrolling too fast. Uh, oh, look at that. So now... Yeah, now now we have to reset. Uh, I'll reset. But yeah, widescreen, it doesn't look like there's a black uh, patch or something there in the upper right. So it's not widescreen that causes it. So I just want to address that. See, it's obviously, uh, this is the proper size, the proper, you know, dimensions of the menu, right? Uh, when you do widescreen, it's really not true widescreen for the menu. And uh, those things annoy me, right? When everything's, when things are not in proper proportion. Uh, and so, and I don't know, uh, I just uh, mentioned that now. Wait a second, what's going on? Um, I think people understand that I don't like widescreen, but I just wanted to check widescreen. No, no, I'm missing the, I need to, to jump on top of this. How do I do that? All right, here you go. Um, I just checked widescreen because it might be the thing that causes the the black uh, patch issue right that uh, someone had and i didn't see it all right you really do have that that, that line here mission start mission start let's let's The lighting of this game is like goes up and down, so sometimes it's too dark, sometimes it's too light. I'm gonna have to re keep readjusting, you know, my my camera, and I need to take my finger off of the R2 button. If if you're a subscriber of the channel, man, I'm having a bit of a cough. If you're a subscriber of the channel. Uh, you know that um, that my R2 button broke a few, maybe a month ago, and I fixed it, but it made the, the, the button extra sensitive. Like, if I just rest my finger like that, it registers a press, so sometimes it messes up my, my testing. I need to make sure that I remember not to. All right. You need to get like all these red orbs. I hope I remember where everything is. We have a run. Oops, that's the map. I think that's the first time that I've seen the map. I don't remember uh, ever accessing the map uh, back then. Oh yeah. Hmm. How do we get to here? We probably can get there, right? I'm just... I just don't know if this is the way. I'm being too persistent. Ugh. You know what? I'll just give up. How do we get there? Maybe the way's uh, somewhere else. All right, 
trying to get a feel of the controls because it's been a long time since I last played this. Alright, just wasted my time. Oh shoot. That blue thing is like uh, teasing me. Unseal the door. Thirty one. I think we're close to what we need. All right. Now, how do I get down there? Wonder why am I doing something wrong with the double jump? <laughs> I'm getting annoyed. All right, so I actually got it. Um, I did it off the recording because it's hard to execute uh, holding the device like this. Um, but you know, when I pull the device closer to me, it worked. So there. And yeah, it, that wasn't, uh, is important because collecting four of those. Alright, so we've unsealed the door and it took us in. We're gonna go back. Because I've never tried this before. What does the thingy of time do? Oh man, I pressed the R2 button again. Yeah, I've wasted like uh, 15 minutes just uh, fiddling around. Yeah, hurrying up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Power up. You can... Oh wow. I didn't know this. Alright, that's the first time that I've seen that. We'll start to get into enemies soon. I remember reading about this game. Man, sorry about the voice, it's just, I don't know, every time I try to, to record these videos, my um, voice gives out and I start uh, cuffing a lot. All right, nothing here, All right, nothing. I forgot in this uh, area. Plays pretty well, see? I see it. I see it. Oh no. Crud. I was like messing. So it went. There you go. Third blue orb. The fourth one will give us three openings to insert something. Mm. Oh, 
The fourth blue orb will give us, um, will increase our maximum health there. Yep, and then now's the time for us to key. Now's the time that we have enemies. How do you block? Oh, that's not the block. Oh, man. Don't tell me. I forgot how you block in this game. How do you block in this game? Ah. Uh. Whatever. And I don't think there's a a block button. Oh, right. I don't wanna get killed. I wonder if that's something that we can um, visit later on. See, look at that. There's a spot here. I thought that was like dust or something, but there's like a... There. The, oh, no. Crud. Oh, we got him. Oh, good. Not, not enough, though. There's still music, so... Is it upstairs? I'm trying to kill them while they're easy. So I can get like green orbs or something. But I hate how the the camera has a mind of its own here. Come on, jump down. I guess that uh, the, doesn't run out of enemies there. No. Oh, there you go. I'm getting some health. Nice.
Yeah, see, it never saw the uh, numbers here at the upper... Upper right, even turn red for a second. Alright, where am I supposed to? Oh no. I forgot where I'm supposed to go. There's supposed to be a blue door around here somewhere? I missed it. There you go, that's a blue door. I don't know if um, I should have done that now. Man, I hope I don't lose. I think uh, I have an, an item that will revive me. Oh, there you go. I wonder if the, the guns actually do decent damage or if I'm just wasting my time with them. Get the red orb, get the red orb. Oh. Alright, back to full health. Cool. Alright, what did I just... Mm. Did they gain anything? Oh man, uh... feel like I just wasted my time there. But at least I got my um, <clears throat> health replenished. And I triggered these guys. Oh, what happened? Oh man, that's terrible. I mean those, um... Uh, projectile attacks from the enemies. Alright, I hope this refills my health. Increase the... the huh? There you go. Alright. Perfect timing and see it. I told you guys. I, getting the blue orb earlier was... Um, My obsession with it was justified. Huh. I'm not supposed to be here?
What? I don't understand what just happened. We just went into that room and went out and now we're on mission two. Huh. Alright, let's power out. I don't have enough red orbs for anything. No. All right, let's see how long it takes for me to uh, complete this mission, right? I'm definitely not going to play this until the uh, boss fight. Nice blue, another blue orb. Okay. I think I'm happy to start this mission at uh, full health. Man, she reminds me a lot of Bayonetta. Bayonetta has uh, similar looking areas. Man. What if I'm doing something wrong? Should I just be running away? Wow. He just spawned, man. I don't know, I like Bayonetta's um, mechanics a lot better. Oh wow. Come on guys. Oh. Might get killed here. Oh good health. Whew, at least a little recovery. Man, I hope it doesn't take me 30 minutes to finish this uh, session. Oh. Yeah, I remember this. Dante, this is the second time I've seen Dante get uh, stabbed right in the middle of his chest with a sword.
I remember that um, they were uh, when they were creating and designing Resident Evil 4 uh, a lot of the early concepts were you know used for Devil May Cry right because I think they were Capcom wanted to take uh, Resident Evil 4 towards a more supernatural direction uh, but then they changed their mind and they said let's go back to uh, sci-fi horror right okay what did I what just happened I don't know what just happened. I gained something, but oh shoot! I know what this is. Or I'm supposed to figure something out here. Hmm. You know, I think we we're we're not supposed to go here yet. Um. Uh, We just earned something, so... And I don't think I went through that uh, door, so... Oh, wow. Man... Alistair. All right, what what sword do I have equipped? What did, what just happened? Plunge the sword from an even further distance. Did it just improve my range? I, I don't know what happened. Alright, whatever, whatever happened, I hope it made me stronger. I just died. I'm gonna repeat that. All right, yeah, I saved my state. Jeez. Wow. I wonder um, which enemies give health, right? Where is that coming from? 
shoot. Ah, oh, man. Alright, so I reloaded again. And, uh, yeah, we're doing better now. Uh, I got... Figured out how to use uh, Alistor, that uh, whatever that is, Alistor, and I was able to get some uh, health refills. There you go, another health refill. What's in here? This door is locked. Oh, all right. There you go. <clears throat> I'm not stalling on purpose, right? Um, I think the the extra health and the red orbs, right, can can help me here. Now I'm supposed to look for a rusty key. Is this it? Take it. All right, so we have the rest of the key. There is a way to get there. That's true. Oh no. I'm not gonna. Um, I'm not gonna beat all the enemies here, just the ones within my direct vicinity. Yeah, see, look at that, right? In, intense stage, lots of enemies, lots of things going on, uh, and I don't even... 2x resolution, right? I think it's staying at 60 frames per second, as far as I can tell. Oh, no. intense. Uh, what are we supposed to do here? Ouch. I'll need this sign. All right. supposed to go Oop. Oh, 
Oh, nice there stuff. I didn't even know how to, to trigger that move. Ah. I don't know what to do. So it's probably not here. Um, here? What the hell? I mean, I saw that door, right? This Staff of Judgment. Okay. Nice. Yep. <clears throat> mini boss fight? Can we call it the mini boss fight? This is just a normal enemy, huh? What's so funny, lady? She's having a lot of fun. Don't you know who you're messing with? I'm Dante. I'm Dante and I'm about to lose. And the other, instead of giving me like a hell, it gave me lots of red orbs. Man, I need health badly. Let's try to get it from the enemies in the next area. Whoa. Don't bite me. Or where are we? Oh, here. Let's see, are there going to be enemies here? Let's buy, let's buy health here, right? We've been racking up red orbs. Blue orb. No, I want... Can I revitalize energy? All right, so now let's buy a buy. Man, that's expensive. I shouldn't have done that. Let me let me reset this. All right, we're back here, and we are not buying that uh, fight that green star, uh, but we have one. All right, perfect. Let's try to get some health from these guys. I'm pretty sure someone's gonna give up some health. Alright, they already did. There you go. Come on, give me some more health, man. I think the very first time I tried this out, I didn't bother with guides. And so, like, the farthest I got was this area. I think that was for my Retroid Pocket 3 Plus um, test. Alright, run around, run around. You know I can 
shoot you guys already, right? I have enough for a trigger. I wonder what's causing that, you know, issue that the person who requested. Oh, wow. Wow. Back to the... Back to almost dead. Get that hell. Alright, I have the Staff of Judgment. Uh, I think that we'll need we'll need it somewhere here, right? And then there will be enemies here again. Alright, back up, back up. I'm gonna try blocking a few of my shots, but not everything uh, you can block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? It's not where I'm supposed to use the Staff of Judgment? Shoot, I think I missed something. Man, I, I promise I'm not um, stalling intentionally, right? Um, it's been a while since I played this game. And yeah, we're at the wrong spot. Alright, I'm not supposed to be here. Fighting me with scissors. Alright. Oh no. You're not completely gone. Now, I'm not sure how how easy or difficult the next uh, four. Mm, next mission. We're we're close to an hour. Might as well, you know, complete this. Is that power up extra? All right, let's just buy a yellow orb because that's the only thing that we can uh, buy, really. Hmm. How long is this mission going to take? I think this is as far uh, as I've actually come. No, this this is a boss fight. All right, all right let's just see how this plays out. What just happened?
I don't understand what just happened. Hmm. I think something's gonna happen here, right? Oh. Go back to fast. There you go. Trying to be cryptic. See, this is the boss fight. Oh, look, look at that. My, my, um, my air is getting depleted. My health, uh, is going down. The gun doesn't work on them. Alright, but it's not as simple as that. Um, there is a boss fight here. Oh man, this is a little tough. I knew it. I hope I don't have to, to face those uh, dudes again. You can just port back up. Ah, shoot. Well, at least we're gonna get some red orbs. Give me some health, bro. There you go. Alright, port back up. Don't fall down again. Uh, wait. Should I? Maybe I should go here. Blue orb. Huh. Alright, I thought that was the pride of lion. Okay. Shoot. I hate it when you need to do... Uh, Strict platforming on... Whoa! Shaw, man. Where do we go? I'm gonna reset that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Oh, no. Where's the right path? Is it here? I'm gonna do this off, off cam. Because uh, I'm... Getting pissed. Alright, so I did it. And we are going to face the boss. Alright, yes, I'll finish this video with me beating the boss. I just hope I remember how to beat him. Alright, how do we beat this guy? I've beaten this guy before, but uh, of course I don't remember anymore, right? It's starting to get difficult. Um, but let's see. I've, uh, by the way, I've tried this multiple. Oh, fucking insane.
Alright, at least I telegraphed that. Not really. Alright, I'm going to use the vital star, right? Oh, there you go. Man, you don't, you can't, won't believe how many times I've tried that. Alright, so whatever these are. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I've had it with Devil May Cry. Um, I think if I were playing this for real, I'd have a lot more fun. You know, I'd have the, the, the practice time with it. But as it is, I'm just playing it for someone who wants to see performance, right? So, um, and there you go. Yeah, default settings on the Redbird Pocket 4 Pro. Would you believe that? Um, for a game that looks this good, but that's how good Capcom is at optimizing their stuff. So, go ahead and try it out. Devil May Cry 1. Uh, eventually, maybe I'll be looking at Devil May Cry 2 and 3. Uh, let me know if you guys are interested, but I'm not even going to bother jumping here, because, well, maybe we should. Oh, there you go. See, I told you. Secret mission critical hit. Oh, whoa. Aim for its weak point with one mission. I, I don't know how to do this. Where's the enemy? I don't even know where the enemy is. Oh! I don't know where your secret Yeah, see, I told you guys, and you need some expertise in these games, so, um, she, she's gonna kill me, so, well, she, did she die? I got her, I guess, what's this? But I don't think I passed. Did I pass? You failed, yeah, obviously. Um, where, where is it gonna re put us back? Alright, here we are. Um, yeah, that will make cry. Works great on the Redford Pocket 4 Pro. So, to the person who requested this test, I hope you uh, enjoyed. And, um, I don't know why it, there's that issue with you, but, you know, same Ether SX2 version, maybe you're going to have a better luck. Once again, this is Al from TheGamingGeek.net. Talk to you in the next video. Where am I supposed to go? I mean... There's these floating stuff. Oh, no. Well.